Hi, my name is Dave Lieber, and I am a newspaper columnist at the Fort Worth Star-Telegram in Texas, and also a professional speaker. As a newspaper man, I live and die on whether people follow my stories. They read the headline, they read a little lead, and then they decide whether they're going to stick with me. So as a survival mechanism over the last 35 years, I've learned how to tell a story in a way that keeps people riveted. And then I realized that in today's world, you really have to have your story down. If you're selling anything or a part of anything, if you're part of a nonprofit or a corporation, or you're an individual entrepreneur, you need to have a great story about not only yourself and how you got to be where you are, but about the people that you're trying to help. Learn their story and show them how to tell their story. So there's a storytelling formula that I use and there's some key elements. And when you use those storytelling elements to promote yourself or promote whoever it is you're trying to promote, people pay attention to you because the brain gets riveted on the story. I think we live in a bullet point world. I think PowerPoint has ruined the American business mind because people think in bullet points. But when you go home at night, you like to tell your story. You like to hear your story, see your story on TV. But you go back to work the next day and it's all bullet points. And, and that's just not the way the brain functions. You know, the brain has a hundred billion neurons in it. And at the end of these neurons are 150 trillion what they call synapses or neural connections. These synapses tend to get really excited and fly like this when they're hearing a story. But when you go back to your bullet points, they sort of drop and die. So I just show everybody how it's so easy to, to keep life like this. You can teach and learn and hear stories and feel something all at the same time. Businesses tend to go to the bullet point world and they use PowerPoints to express their points, but you don't engage people emotionally when you do that. So in the business world, I would go into that company or that association and I do some research about what they're doing, what their problems are, and then I come to them and I show them that they're ignoring the emotional crucial elements of their story and here's how you do it. Everybody has a story. Everybody has good times and bad times. And people just tend to overlook the hard part to get where they are today. But the hard part is what fascinates me. When someone wins an award, it's great that they won the award, but there was a point where they were going down. They were never going to win any award. What happened to them that helped bring them back up? That's the crucial part because that's how the rest of us all learn how we can be like them. I think people don't know how to identify their stories and they don't know how to tell them. So I show them how to identify them and I show them how to tell them. And that brings an emotional connection with the people that they're trying to reach. And so I can go into any business and any association and sit down with them and just talk to them about what they're doing, what they care about, what their problems are. And then I take it back earlier to the beginning and I see how things went well and how things didn't go well. And I'm able to quickly, as a journalist, identify the crucial elements because I've been trained to identify the crucial elements. And once we sit down and we do that, then we can work with those elements and we can take them and, and, and use them to propel them.